Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Shed Talk. Uh, today I'm going to show you my uh, riding lawnmower, which I'm very excited about. So this is the Greenworks Pro, um, eh, what is this called? It says CRT 426 on the front, but that's not what it's called. Um, eh, I guess I'll put it in the video. I can't remember. Uh, Oh yeah, the crossover T. And there's also the crossover Z, which is the zero turn, but this is the tractor version. Anyway, it's built on Greenworks uh, 60 volt battery architecture, and I'll get into that. Uh, let me just show you around. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's okay looking. It looks kind of like a um, fat go-kart with uh, wheels that are too big for it. Um, it's pretty comfortable. It's the traditional green and black colors that uh, Greenworks uses for all of its stuff. Um, it's got really nice um, lawn safe tires, front and back, especially in the back. Um, I forget how much this weighs. I think it's like five or seven hundred pounds. Um, I don't, it's not a whole lot more than uh, a gas tractor. Uh, it does have a hitch on it. Now, I also have a hitch. Uh, this is actually a hitch to raise your hitch, because you usually put it on the top. I put it backwards so that my hitch is lower, because my um, my trailer actually has a pretty low bar, so it was a little bit too high that way. You can see how it was wearing. So anyway, this is not this is not part of the, the main deal. Um, this is rated to, to uh, tow 200 pounds. Um, I believe it says you can put 75 pounds back here. I forget, but it's nice that it has a little trunk. Um, a lot of tractors don't have that. Um, it's also got holders for a drink, cell phone, and there actually is USB chargers, which are 5 volt, 2.1 amps. Anyway, uh, we'll get to some of that later. Um, pretty impressed with this overall. Uh, I've been using this since the spring. Haven't had any mechanical issues, which is good. Um, crossing my fingers because I'm not super mechanically inclined. Uh, the build feels pretty solid. It's got nice steel. Well, you can't tell because that's my fingers. Um, but it feels pretty solid. The deck is 42 inches. Um, it's got an ejection chute, whatever you call those. It also has... Um, uh, the a mulcher kit and, it, and you can also I also have the bagging kit which I have, have not installed yet um, the deck is has two blades with two independent motors um, there's a go pedal and a brake and there's also a, a brake lock um, does have two sets of LED headlights it also has a front hitch for I don't know what you put on there um, I guess loading attachments or plows or something like that. The wheels are kind of dirty because I did some mowing in the wet grass uh, yesterday or something. So um, yeah, if that bothers you, maybe don't watch it. Watch this in 4K. Um, yeah, so this comes unassembled or like partially assembled. All the main stuff is all together. It comes on a pallet. Um, the seat is off. The steering wheel is off. The steering column is off. Um, yeah. And so that way it's nice and flat. This comes up. And that's my pickup assist. Uh, so basically what you have to do when you get it is um, place, you have to attach the seat to this bracket and you have to put the, uh, um, this column on, which like slides on and then you attach the uh, steering wheel to it and then put this little cap on it. It's not a big deal. It took me 45 minutes. Half of that time was like disassembling the pallet itself because uh, it had like these metal poles that had to come off so that you can drive off. Um, but it was actually the hardware that you needed um, came in these different adhesed um, compartments. So you take one compartment off. It's like, oh, this is the steering wheel stuff. Oh, this is the, you know, to disassemble this or whatever, this or that. So it was all pretty easy. Um, it just took me 45 minutes because I had never done it before and I was doing it in the dark. Uh, it takes six um, batteries. Each one is eight amp hours. It comes with these. 
this is why it's so expensive, um, and I actually overpaid for this. They're like $500 cheaper now uh, than when I paid for it. Um, and each one of these uh, is Bluetooth compatible, so you can actually hook these up to your, or they communicate with your phone, and I think the Greenworks app, which I do not have them worked up because it doesn't matter, and it shows me like here, although I think this gauge is wrong a lot of times. Uh, anyway, I believe, um, so, let's see, how does this work? There's, so there's six here, and then there's four, four motors that are run. There's, uh, well, maybe there's two. Maybe there's just three. Yeah, I think there's only, uh, one motor there, I guess. So, I think... Um, I think there's two batteries for each uh, rotary head, and then there's one battery, or the, and then there's a set of batteries for the propulsion. I think that's how it goes. Something like that. It kind of, it divvies them up, so it's not like drawing all at the same time. So I think theoretically, like if you're cutting is what's taking a ton of power, um, then maybe you could just replace those batteries like halfway through, but your propulsion batteries are fine. I don't know. I haven't tested that, but anyway, also, according to the manual, this thing also has GPS. So you can, through the Greenworks app, like you can, if your tractor gets stolen, you can, uh, you can track it. So that's kind of interesting. All right, let's go to the controls. Um, they're intuitive once you know what they are. Cruise, I have never used. Uh, so this is the blade controls. So pulling up engages them, pushing down disengages them. You've got front reverse. Um, so the blades are automatically disengaged. If you get out of your seat, it has an occupation sensor. And then also if you go in reverse, it automatically disengages them. There is a way to run the blades when you're in reverse, but I haven't looked into that because I never do. Um, turning this on is kind of confusing uh, because I don't know what these signals look like that look like bombs and this has like a gear inside of it or something and this bomb says stop um, but anyway the way you turn this on you turn it all the way to the end and then let it release to this one and then it should turn on and then it has all these weird like it has all these weird numbers here so this is the battery percentage sometimes it's correct and then it has these weird messages that I don't even know if they're correct in the manual. But 15 with the gear sign blinking, that means that it, oh, I've just learned that that means that it won't engage unless you hit the uh, brake pedal once to tell it that, you know, you're ready. Um, reverse blades. Oh, so I guess that's what you push to uh, run the blades in reverse. Uh, cruise control, like I said, I've never used that. Uh, oh, and then uh, if you want the lights on, it's a completely different switch. And that turns on the front lights. Um, they are bright enough in the dark. They, they spread out fairly well. One thing I didn't quite like is that when you are riding on top of it, uh, there's light leak. And so when it, it doesn't look like much now, but when it's dark out, it's, uh, it, it's actually a little bit annoying that as you're riding along you can see like these kind of bright lights there. Um, the other day though when I was using them I did realize that that is a little bit handy because if you're mowing somewhere where like say there's low branches or something it's actually kind of nice that the uh, lights um, cast upwards uh, because then it, it actually highlights what's what's up above here and what you're going to run into, not just the, uh, not just the lawn area. So it's actually not a bad feature for, um, having it do that. Um, yeah, so, uh, that's a roundabout interview. Uh, let me see anything else. Um, these fold up and they have the most killer corners to catch your elbow. I caught one on that side on my left elbow and it was probably the worst ulnar nerve bruise 
also known as funny bone that I've funny bone that I've ever had. So I used to always keep these up because I never do them. Once I hit my elbow on that crazy thing, holy cow! Now I keep them down. Um, it doesn't have any engine noise, but the blades uh, still make a, you know, you can hear them pretty well. So I use ear protection. That does not come with it. This I use uh, to pick up toys that I'm about to run over. Um, it's a lot easier than getting off every time. Oh, here's the uh, height adjustments. Really easy. Just pull in like that, and then it's weighted. Um, I'm usually at 3 inches, and it goes in half inch increments from 4.5 down to 1.5. So I kind of wish it could do um, quarter inch increments sometimes, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so that's about it for the outside. 